In this video, we'll be looking at what a physical star topology and a logical bus network topology is, and differentiate between them and explain their operation. So, the way a network is connected, in other words, the way the computers, printers and servers are all joined together, is called the network topology. Now, there are many different common topologies. For the exam, you need to know about the bus topology and the star topology, the differences between them and how they operate. And also, importantly, to understand the difference between a physical topology and logical topologies. So let's start off with a basic understanding of the difference between a bus and a star topology. Well, this is a bus topology as shown here, and you can see why it's often called this, because it looks a bit like a bus route with various stops along the way. Now, a physical bus topology like this, and that means the physical way the cables are being laid out, is fairly cheap to install. It doesn't require additional hardware beyond, really, this central main cable. There are, obviously, quite a lot of disadvantages of a physical bus topology, and that's one of the reasons we really don't see it anymore. If this main cable fails, then no network, network data can be transmitted. The performance also degrades heavily with increased traffic going up and down this shared line. And security tends to be a bit poorer as all computers on this network can see all the transmissions going up and down this shared bus cable. Now here we see a physical star topology. And again, it's called a star because in a loosely abstract way, we have some kind of central device and then we have our other devices all coming off it in spokes, you know, a bit like a, a star. Now, there's some quite big advantages here. If a single cable fails, for example, if this cable here broke, um, then it's only that computer which is affected, so it becomes quite easy to isolate the faults. It's also very easy to add new computers to the network. Assuming we have a uh, space here on this switch, we just added another cable, and we can add a new computer here. We have pretty consistent performance even when network traffic is high, because traffic is being isolated down the cable to the actual computer. And there's almost no issues with data collision, as again each computer has its own dedicated cable. Now, there are obviously disadvantages, it can be costly to set up and install as there's lots of extra cabling required, and of course if any of these central nodes go down, then the whole network can't transmit or receive data. OK, so let's talk about the difference between a physical and a logical topology, because the specification actually says you must know about a physical star topology and a logical bus topology. So here we see two network topologies being used within a single local area network. On the left of this switch, we have a single cable and we have a bus network here. This is physically wired as a bus network. Here we have a physical star network, in other words, the computers are connected with their own dedicated cable each. The physical and logical topology, however, are different. Although this part of the network is wired in a physical star topology, it could operate logically just like a bus topology. We would install a bus transmission protocol, an Ethernet bus protocol, onto these devices and the transmitted data going down these lines would operate just as if it was a bus topology. So every signal, signal would be transmitted to every computer. So you can see here that we can have a physical topology, that's how the devices are actually physically connected via wires or Wi-Fi, and then a logical topology placed on top of it, which is the logic behind how the data is transmitted.